Wireless MagSafe charging in a W124. So for the most part, there really aren't many products made for the 124 that are for modern phones. The generic products are generally not that great. And there really isn't anything specific for this car that's actually built really well and works really well. Now, I'm not saying there isn't any solution that works. Of course, I've seen the ones that clip into the vents and that go onto the dash or clip onto the wood somewhere. But the problem with those is the ones that clip onto the vents will eventually break these vents with the weight of the phone on it. These are not meant to hold that much weight. So that's a solution I don't like. It's also very flimsy and it gets in the way of the air vent, which I don't like either i see the ones where they either glue or drill it onto your dash that's way more permanent than i would like it to be so it's irreversible you have holes in your dash that is not a good solution and then kind of same thing for the wood if you put adhesive on it you'll damage the finish i don't like that either same thing with anything else that goes on with the dash so i want a solution that was reversible easy to install and it worked well so that's kind of asking a lot especially when we want it to be reversible so there's no visible damage on the dash one that doesn't stick out so much so what i found was this renline brand 124 phone mount so they do make this for iPhones with MagSafe just as a holder and with wireless charging. They also make it for other phones with magnets. So this is for more modern phones that have magnets to hold them. So older phones that don't have magnets may need a different adapter, but if you have a modern phone with magnets, this is a great solution. So this is the main piece right here, this little metal bracket. So this is what does all the work. So it's bolts on in between the center vent and the airbag or glove box, depending on which 124 you have. So this will go like that. That little piece will stick out and then you can attach your mount. So for my phone, I have an iPhone phone with MagSafe they have this kit that is just a MagSafe holder and then optionally if you want to be with charging you have to pay extra and get the one with the wireless charging feature if your phone does not have magnets you can buy this ring this is an adhesive ring that will attach to the back of your phone and give it magnetic abilities so this little bracket will go in between that center vent and that airbag right there it'll stick out just like that it'll block off this section right here so most of the vent should still be exposed and it actually shouldn't look too far out of place and all the hardware will be hidden because there's a screw right here so i think this is a very clean solution one step further i'm going to do because i'm going to put the wireless charging in is i don't want a cable hanging around with the ashtray open i'm going to run the cable behind the dash go behind all this and into the ashtray from behind and plug it into the usb charger i have right here so for that usb charging to work i got the super slim cigarette lighter adapter this is slimmer than the one i have in it now and it has usb a and usb c so if you want to do faster charging this is capable of that and i got this angled cable so i could get maximum clearance in the ashtray without modifying anything it should be all plug and play so i got the usb c which is what this requires and then usb a so if you want to have fast charging you just get usb c to usb c angled and actually that might even give you even more clearance because the usb c is so much smaller so taking a look at the box this is just a MagSafe phone holder so it is just a piece of plastic and metal that has a magnet there's a ball socket right there that attaches to that metal bracket and includes your tool to install it so pretty simple and the concept is the same with the charger it looks actually very similar so it's actually just all black instead of that chrome edge which i like and then it has a port a usb-c port to plug in and then you also get some hardware same ball same tool and you got a cable as well of course you can use a supplied cable but as you see it kind of sticks out like that so this angled one i think will look a little bit cleaner once it's all said and done with the setup i'm thinking of and looks like they also include another metal rings i ordered an additional one just in case i needed it but it looks like i don't let's get to the installation so if you have a later car with airbag it'll be pretty obvious you'll have a little airbag indicator right there we'll have to remove the airbag to get to the screw on this side if you don't you'll probably have a glove box so you can just open the glove box and that screw will be exposed so you can skip the step where you have to remove the airbag however if you do want to run the cable behind the dash you will probably have to remove your glove box before you disconnect the battery make sure you have your radio code handy if you have one if you are removing your airbag the first step is to disconnect the battery all that is a 13 millimeter pop off of a negative terminal and give it a couple minutes to discharge and then you can proceed to the next step to loosen the airbag there is a 10 millimeter bolt right through this hole so all you need is a 10 millimeter it'll come right out so that bolt is actually tucked up in there pretty high so you need a decently long extension and then you can just loosen it up so once you get all the way loose the bolt will just drop this is how long it is so it just drops right there and now your airbag should be free so if it's stuck a little bit you can actually remove this under paneling and then push it out from the inside but if your airbag is loose like mine is you can pull it right out all right so the airbag requires a little bit of wiggling left to right just take your time don't rush it don't use any tools to pry in between just you can use your hands pry it from the left pry it from the right do it at the same time and eventually it wiggle out so if it's too difficult you will have to remove that lower panel and push it from the underside but luckily mine wasn't too bad probably about five minutes of wiggling it back and forth got free so you can disconnect these if you like i'm not going to i'm gonna rest this somewhere safely where it's not tugging on the wire and then we can work with the vent 
All right, so the screw will go in this hole. We'll see mine is not there, so I'll have to go locate a screw, but that's where it will be. This is where you'll attach that bracket. All right, so I was wondering why this one wasn't fitting so well on mine, and we'll see the adhesive is on this side. So when it's placed like that, that's how it would fit, and it gets in the way of the airbag. So they actually applied the adhesive on the wrong side of this bracket for me. So I am not gonna be able to use this adhesive at all, and it's supposed to mount like this with the bracket facing down. This way it doesn't get in the way of the airbag and it takes up just this little void on the vent. So that's kind of unfortunate that you placed it on the wrong side. All right, so before you bolt down the bracket, you're gonna to wanna to attach the ball. So we'll see it uses an Allen key and then we can grab a wrench to hold it on the side or some pliers and tighten it up and use this like little crush washer type deal to secure it in place. So once we get that tightened up, then we can put the bracket onto the vent. All right, so I got the ball attached to the mount. So our washer got crushed a little bit, which helps keep it secure. So I use a 14 millimeter open-ended wrench to hold that ball in. So that's exactly what the size of it is. Plus that included Allen. I don't know what the exact size is, but the included Allen is enough. You have 14 millimeter open wrench and then this will work just fine. So now we can actually put it in place. All right, so here it is all together. We're not gonna be using the sticker, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. I should probably take it off, but I'm not going to. The screw sticks out a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't touch the airbag, but it looks pretty good. Okay, so what I ended up doing was applying double side tape to the inside where it's supposed to be. So for some reason on mine, they put it on the wrong side and it is actually a little necessary. Otherwise it's a little flimsy, but now it's a lot more solid because of that double side tape. It's gonna kind of hold down here, let the adhesive kind of cure. And then uh, depending on what your goals are for next step, we can just attach the phone mount and then we're done or if you want to do the wireless charging then we're gonna have to run the wire all right so if you're just gonna attach the phone mount without the wireless charger all you gotta do is loosen up the little locking collar just stick it on and pop it in like that and then you'll see I kind of got loose there so I gotta retighten it but then all I do is tighten it up and then it's ready to go so I should definitely not have done that with it on the car that screw is not really that sturdy so that's why it's kind of loose but once we have everything back in place it should be a tight fit in there with the airbag so it shouldn't move at all all right so I completed the install for the Renline phone mount I was trying to do the MagSafe wireless charging but ran into a little hiccups so let me explain what happened but let's just take a look first that's what it looks like on the dash when there's no phone mount to it so without a phone mounted to it it doesn't look too far out of place and then it does block the passenger vent a little bit but not too much and honestly i could have done a little bit better job hiding the adhesive but overall it's not too bad if, if you remove the magnetic plate you'll just have that ball sticking out which won't look too horrible but uh you're gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of the aesthetic here to get it to work but uh, overall that does not bother me for some people it might bother them i feel like this is a great compromise because this is fully reversible so if i wanted to take this out all i would have to do is pop out the passenger airbag which we saw is not too hard and i could just unscrew that take the adhesive off put the airbag back and it'll be like it was never there it might leave a little mark on the passenger air vent so maybe put a little piece of felt tape under there to prevent it from marring it but these vents are still easily replaceable if you have to if they get damaged though that's not a big deal to me okay so let's talk about the hiccup i experienced while trying to install the wireless charger so this is not the wireless charger this is just the phone holder. I was only able to put the magnetic phone holder plate in. I was attempting to put the actual wireless charger in here, but the problem I experienced was I needed to take the radio out to be able to route the wires behind here. And as you can see, the radio key got stuck and my radio was not able to be removed while I was doing the install. So I decided to skip it for now because now I have to deal with taking this radio out. So that might require me to remove the entire center console or do something else. But this radio is stuck in here. And the reason I need to get it out was so I could route the wires easily to here. And this is not the charger I showed in the beginning. This is a different one, but I would have a slim charger here and a slim 90 degree USB-C. And that would go all the way behind there, probably come out right here. There's like enough room to get a cable in there. Or if you wanted to, if you do decide to remove the center console, you could sneak it behind one of the gaps in here. So not a huge deal, but I will have to figure out how to take the radio out one day. And for the time being, I will skip that because that job does look like it's gonna be kind of a pain because the radio is stuck. So if anyone knows these radios, this is what happened to mine. When I stuck the key in there to release the tab, it did not release and the key is stuck, so it's caught on there. So I will have to figure out some way to get under there and release it manually. So I will do that later. But for now, the phone mount, I'm actually still really happy with. It's totally possible to hook up the wireless charging all behind the dash and make it look seamless. Or if you just don't care, you can just have this open and have the wire running out in the open. That's totally okay as well. So it's got a little Renline branding on there. It's not a horrible sight to look at without a phone on. I don't mind it. But you are not buying this phone holder just to look at it. You're buying it to put a phone on it. So if you have a MagSafe compatible phone, there it is. You got to align it, which is kind of easy to do. You'll feel when it catches on and that's it. 
that's how the phone looks on there. You can kind of angle it to how you want. I got it locked into where it's in a really good position at the driver's seat, but of course you can change it so however you want, or if your passenger wants to look at it, that's fine too. And yes, you can go sideways if you have enough room, which this phone is too big to go sideways. So I would have to move this more towards the center, but it is totally doable. So you need to have a MagSafe compatible phone with a MagSafe compatible case if you have a case on your phone. So this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max and I have an OtterBox Symmetry case and it has MagSafe in it. And the way you can tell if a case has MagSafe usually they'll mark it with something like this a little circle and a line if you just look at the box you buy it in it will mention it okay, so we'll see here's the case with magsafe there's no phone on it and when you line it up it does hook up to the magnet and it's pretty stable actually so if your phone has magsafe but you don't have a magsafe compatible case this will not work i did try it out with the same case that does not have magsafe and there's just too much distance between the phone's magnet and this when there's a case on so it will not work so just keep that in mind when you buy this in the beginning of the video if you remember i did show that adhesive magnetic circle you can also just apply that to whatever you want that will also allow this to work or in any other case you can just find any stick on magnet that will go to the back of a case there are definitely solutions if you don't want to change out your case for a magsafe compatible one all right, so here's the view from the driver's seat. We can just hook the phone up here and you'll feel it when it catches on. That's kind of a normal viewing angle for me. It's not too bad. You could definitely see when the phone lights up what's going on. So maps are pretty easy to read. If your screen is glossy, sometimes uh, depending on the angle of sun, it may not be super ideal. You can see reflections on there. And of course this is worse now because I'm in a convertible with the top down. But overall I think it's fine. There's no problem. It's actually a pretty strong magnet. We'll see. It's pretty hard to move. Uh, there's only one instance when I was driving on really harsh, uneven, really bumpy roads in this car. And I hit a really, really big bump. It's abnormal. Like you don't hit a bump that normal daily and the phone did fall to the floor. But in normal everyday circumstances, that will likely not happen. Well, I think for the most part, this is a really strong magnet and it's going to be fine. So when there isn't a phone on it, it's pretty stable. I mean, you can move it just a tiny bit. So one piece of advice I would give, if I remember to film and include in the video, I did have to add some more double-sided tape to the panel that sits towards the vents. So now it has adhesive on both sides. I think on mine, the adhesive on the glove box side was a mistake. It was supposed to be on the inside. So I would double check, make sure the adhesive is on the correct side, which is facing the vents, not the glove box or the airbag. And also once you get this screwed in here, don't go too tight. It's really easy to strip out that screw hole. I think I saw you strip mine out. So when I had this in without the airbag, it was actually pretty loose. But once I got the airbag in there and it kind of squished it against the vents, now it's nice and stable. Now actually it can hold the phone no problem. Before I put the airbag in, it actually did not like to hold the phone that much. The magnet was so strong that the phone would move the entire piece. But now once everything is all buttoned up, it's all good. So installing this was pretty easy it doesn't require that many tools and really not that much skill you just have to be kind of careful with the airbag and the fact that i did only the magsafe it's actually not that much more difficult or time consuming to put the wireless charging but it was for me because i had the issue with my radio coming out so if your radio doesn't get stuck probably only spend another 15 20 minutes getting the wires through and if you have all the right equipment it should fit right here with the slim cigarette lighter charger the wire should be able to come through that little gap and be able to close and open so that way you won't even have to wire it and the reason i chose that method in case anyone's wondering why i didn't just choose to wire it to something is because it's fully reversible it's super easy anyone could do it and that this power source also works with accessory power so once you put your key in position two it will get power which is exactly what you want so that's just something easy of course you could permanently wire it to the back of the cigarette lighter or some other power source but that is why i chose to go that route and once i figure out how to get the radio out i will go that route but for now i'm going to just roll with this so overall i'm actually pretty happy with this product it was relatively easy to install and it does leave options to upgrade later on if you want to add wireless charging for the price it's probably not the best value but the fact that it's easily installable and fully reversible i think that's a big selling point i know there are many other solutions to add a phone mount to this car but this one is probably one of the few in my opinion that's pretty much ready to install right out of the box but uh, overall it was pretty easy to do yes you can definitely manufacture this plate all by yourself you can get that ball and screw you can totally recreate this for much less than what they charge that is definitely possible i just want something that was ready to roll out of the box and i think this was a pretty decent solution it doesn't look too bad either and another factor too i think it's important for some people is if your phone has factory magnets this one just works with them overall i do recommend although it is definitely on the pricey side of things hope you found the video helpful if you have any questions please feel free to leave them below and thank you for watching